This video will cover the topic, Additive Property of Equality with Sine Fraction. The additive property of equality states that adding a number to both sides of an equality will preserve the equality. How do I know this works? We can confirm this with a quick example. 2 equals 2 is a fact. But what if we added 3 to both sides? Well, we'd get 3 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3, which simplifies to 5 equals 5. So I think this is right. That's right. This property is useful when trying to solve for a variable that has a constant being subtracted from it. So for example, to solve for x minus 5 equals 6, the additive property of equality lets us add 5 to both sides, giving us 5 plus x minus 5 equals 6 plus 5, which we can simplify to x equals 11. Now, if there's a fraction involved, we follow the same process, but there's going to be an extra step. We would have a fraction addition problem on one side, so we would need to make sure the denominators are the same, and then we could simplify to a single fraction. Alright, I think I get it, but how about an example? So let's say we're given x minus 8 ninths equals negative 6 over 21 and told to solve for x. So we want to get x by itself, so we add 8 ninths to both sides, right? Right. We see that 8 ninths is being subtracted from x, so to get x by itself, we need to add 8 ninths. The additive property of equality lets us add 8 ninths to both sides while preserving the equality, giving us 8 ninths plus x minus 8 ninths equals negative 6 over 21 plus 8 ninths. So the 8 ninths will cancel and we'll have x by itself. Right. Our equality is now x equals negative 6 over 21 plus 8 ninths, but it isn't simplified yet. Now we must evaluate the right side of the equation, which is a fraction addition problem with a negative fraction. Since the denominators 21 and 9 are not the same, we need to find a common denominator and we can do this by finding the prime factorization of 9 and 21. I think I remember prime factorization. The prime factorization of 21 is 7 times 3, and the prime factorization of 9 is 3 times 3, and so our least common multiple should be 3 times 3 times 7, which is 63. That's right. So now we need to manipulate our fractions so that they have common denominators of 63. When we do this, our fractions become negative 18 over 63, and 56 over 63. Now we must add our fractions together. We can do this by adding the numerators and keeping the denominator the same. Negative 18 plus 56 equals 38, so our answer will be x equals 38 over 63. So if we're given an equality in which a fraction is being subtracted from x, we can add that fraction to both sides in order to get x? Exactly. 